Hi everyone, I have a couple of projects featuring the new Spellbinders Better Press letter press system. Often when you start something new, there's a learning curve. I'm happy to report that with this system, there isn't. It is so easy to use. When you receive your system, you have everything that you need to get started. Chase is the platform and includes three shims and also the magnetic insert with registration marks. The platen is the clear top plate. It also has registration marks. You'll also receive cotton press panels that are A2 size, specialty black ink that is waterproof, and best ever craft tape. This system is accompanied by a beautiful floral plate and sentiments. All right then, my chase has been set up with the three shims and the magnetic insert. The magnetic insert has a grid for lining everything up perfectly. It also has the outline for both an A2 and A7 card. The platen also has registration marks for the two different sizes of panels. I'm working with A2, so I take my paper, fit it into those registration marks, and then use the tape to hold the paper in place. Next, I'm going to ink up the plates. This is a custom ink that has been formulated for the better press and is waterproof. The ink is applied in a pouncing motion. I found it most effective to do just an ever so slight twisting motion when the pad meets the plate. The platen has four metal corners which will snap on to the spring-loaded feet. The platen is sitting above the inked plate and will not be engaged until it is pressed down and fed through the die cutting machine. The better press system replaces both the platform and the plates for the die cutter. And you only need to roll it through one way, but just the way my machine was set up, it was easier for me to feed it back the other way. And there it is, my first letter press. And so what is a letter press? It is an image that has been inked and impressed into the paper, and it is gorgeous. To clean the plates and the magnetic insert in the chase, Spellbinders recommends using Ranger's Archival Ink Cleaner. This cleaner is really handy with its dauber end and you don't have to worry about overspraying. In order to get a really nice impression when you do your letter pressing, the paper has to be soft. The card panels that come with the kit are cotton based, just like watercolor paper, and the image is impressed beautifully onto it. This card was watercolored with Karen markers. For my second card, I'm working with a really beautiful Better Press plate and die set called Floral Happy. Because everything will be die cut, I don't have to worry about the placement of the images and the sentiment. Spellbinders has two sets of inks for the Better Press system, Regal Tones and Nature Tones. Each set has four colors. I'm going to be randomly applying three of the colors from Nature Tones, French Blue, Wild Berry, and Saffron. You can see the ink as it is being applied to the plate, and because the ink pads are small, it is easy to get all three colors on each of those floral letters. And this probably wasn't necessary, but I did apply the ink a couple of times. And the Sentiment Birthday was inked up in black. The platen will snap into position on the spring-loaded feet. The panel is not touching the inked plate until the platen is depressed and fed through the die cutter. Use the accompanying dies to cut the images and white sheet foam. Because this paper is so impressionable, I did buy a new set of cutting plates for my die cutter. 
all of my better pressing, I'm just replacing the top plates so that there are no marks left on my project. And I've labeled this plate better press so it doesn't get used for anything else. The floral letters, sentiment, and the two little floral images were stacked on the foam die cuts. Whenever I stack anything onto foam, I always pop it under some weight. Typically, I use my Misty just to make sure that there's good contact between the two die cuts. Foam backed floral letters are arranged onto a black cardstock panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. The panel was adhered to an A2 size card base. The card is embellished with some pretty white half pearls and some little tiny ones in the flower centers. And for just a touch of additional sparkle, I'm using Nouveau Glitter Drops White Blizzard, which dries clear and is super sparkly on all the little berries. These are the first two cards that I've made with the Better Press system, and honestly, it couldn't be any easier. And I can't wait to share my next project with you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I appreciate your visit.